Hello friends, my name is JV. Hello friends, my name is JV and I am with a new uh, video application of entropy principle heat transfer through the finite temperature difference and maximum work obtained from the two bodies of the two finite bodies. Let's see this first. Heat transfer to a finite temperature difference. Here we are taking two thermal energy reservoirs. As we are knowing, thermal energy reservoir means if you are giving infinite amount of heat to it or if you are removing infinite amount of heat out of it, it will not change in its temperature. So what we need to find out heat transfer through the finite temperature difference means what should be the delta S entropy entropy having an equation of heat. So thermal energy reservoir 1 is rejecting the heat to the thermal energy reservoir 2 it means T1 is greater than the T2 and the heat is rejected from the T1 to T2. Whenever we are using the thermal energy reservoir, at the time the equation would be Q upon T1. So here it is from the first body, heat is rejected, that's why it is minus 2 by T1. And second body where the heat is added, that's why it is 2 divided by T2. So the equation of the delta S universe will be Q 1 upon T2 minus 1 upon T1. Means Q T1 minus T2 divided by T1, T2 and as we are knowing the T1 value is greater than the value of T2 so this delta S of the universe is always greater than 0. Now maximum work obtainable from two finite bodies. So here one finite body source at a T1 temperature and one body at a T2 temperature is given. Now the maximum work obtainable from the reversible engine when maximum work the work is equal to q1 minus q2 now we are going to discuss about the maximum work obtained from the finite bodies so there are body number one and body number two and work obtained is equal to q1 minus q2 and q1 and q2 are given by the equation mcp delta t so what happened here the T1 body means body at a higher temperature which is uh, rejecting the heat and it will heat the body at a lower temperature. So whenever there is a finite body it will equilibrate not at the maximum temperature, not at the minimum temperature but in between somewhere. Means the higher body will reject the heat and reduce its temperature from T1 to a lattice let's say Tf and the lower body will increase the heat and the heat whenever it is added into the lower body the temperature increase from T2 to Tf <coughs> so it is written here so Q1 is given by the equation MCP1 T1 minus Tf and Q2 is given by MCP2 Tf minus T2 now we are assuming that the mass flow rate is same, m1 is equal to m2 is equal to m and specific heat for both the bodies are same. The equation would be mcp t1 minus tf minus tf plus t2 minus minus will become plus. So the equation would be mcp t1 plus t2 minus 2 times tf. Now in order to find out the value of tf, the delta s of universe is equal to 0 for the reversible process. And why it is reversible? Because we are we want to find out the maximum work and maximum work possible only for the reversible process. So delta S universe is equal to delta S1 plus delta S2 plus delta S surrounding as it is surrounded by the insulated layer. So delta S surround is equal, is equal to 0. And it's, as it is finite body, the delta S1 is from T1 to Tf dq by T and delta S2 means system 2 means 
from T2 to Tf because the temperature is rising from T2 to Tf, initial temperature and final temperature, dQ by T plus 0. Instead of dQ, I am putting MCP delta T equation. So the ultimate integration will be MCP ln Tf divided by T1 plus MCP ln Tf divided by T2. The summation of log is equal to multiplication of log. Since Tf square divided by T1 T2 is equal to 0 ln. So whenever there is left side ln is present and right side is 0. So when ln is put it to the right side means e raised to 0 and e raised to 0 will become 1. So tf square is equal to t1 t2 the ultimate tf is equal to under root t1 into t2. So putting this tf value in this equation the equation would be mcp t1 plus t2 minus 2 times under root t1 t2 and this uh, from a square plus b square minus 2ab the equation would be w maximum mcp under root t1 minus under root t2 square. So this is the maximum work obtained from the two finite bodies and the two finite bodies means one body is at a higher temperature, one body is at a lower temperature is working then how much work is possibly getting out of it is denoted by this equation. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are having any doubt, please